my name is Marco Granados. Most of you know me. I'm basically a business intelligence consultant, uh, most within SAP technology. But I am also a business analyst, a data analyst, so I also work with uh, free tools, you know, like Tableau, Hadoop, other kind of uh, tools, and combine them. Even though I am a fan of SAP, today I'm going to show something different. Okay. Uh, well, uh, anybody know what uh, sentiment analysis is? Does anybody know? inside, get some insight from the text, and most of the time, get if the idea of the people writing the text is positive, negative, or neutral regarding one specific matter. It is used mainly in the sales, when some company maybe launch a new product, then they start collecting text from Twitter, for example, from that product, and they, they try to get insight from the data and know if people are thinking positively, negatively, or neutrally about that product, okay? What I'm bringing today is something regarding what I'm saying, uh, sentiment analysis, okay? Uh, I strongly recommend you to pay attention to this. This is the kind of presentation you will not have normally if you go to an event, if you go to a seminar. People is very attentive with this kind of uh, information and want to share with you, okay? Okay, this is like this. This is the scenario. We have Twitter. This is real big data. Twitter, per second, there are thousands and thousands of tweets just regarding one specific subject, okay? So, Twitter will be combined with our language, with Tableau, and finally we will have the presentation. What I'm doing is this. I'm using our language, and I created one application that extracts data from Twitter, okay? The data will be extracted from R, but what kind of data? Trying to make this uh, scenario more interesting, I focus in the campus of San Francisco and in the campus of Boston. And the subject is the presidential election, the candidates, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, okay? So I use coordinate location, I mean, the exact coordinate um, from two places. This is the campus of all at San Francisco, and this is, let's say, the campus of all at Boston. I use the exact coordinates, latitude and longitude for this, latitude and longitude for this, and I use a radius of 0 0.1 mile here and 0 0.1 mile here. What does it mean? We are talking exactly from about the buildings, about the exact positions where the campus are located. So I extract data from Twitter <coughs> regarding the word Hillary and the word Trump, which means all the Twitter that speaks about those candidates. It is just about one day, okay? The day that I want to present doesn't represent the whole history, or the whole story, but we can use it as a reference, okay? So, by using those uh, libraries to R, I extracted the data from Twitter to R. Then, I imported from Tableau the data from R. But Tableau is not the tool that has the, the intelligence to process this kind of data. Tableau is good for presentation. When you want to make very deep analysis, a statistical analysis, you should go and use a tool like this, R. So Tableau is putting back, taking back some information. The tweeters, the tweets, are going back to R. And by using R, I made analysis, the sentiment analysis. The result of this for each tweet regarding the words that compose each tweet, the analysis is analyzing each word, the phrases, and giving a result. If the phrase is positive, negative, or neutral regarding the candidate, Hillary Clinton or Trump. Okay? So the results are sending back to Tableau. And Tableau is great for presentation. So Tableau is going to present and this is the diagram. You want to see the process, I brought it here. I just explained it, but this is the process, okay? Okay, 
I want to show you now alive how these tools can uh, work one with the other, collaborating with each other, okay? This is their language uh, environment, the R Studio. So I'm going to connect now this R with the Tableau. This is the Tableau. You see Tableau here should be the diagram, but the diagram is blank. I need to connect both, okay? Now it's connected, okay? Now R open a path to be connected to Tableau. Now I'm going to Tableau. Tableau, go to get the connection. So the connection to R is in my computer, it's a lot of work, test it. Successfully connected, okay. <laughs> now it's connected. <laughs> okay, let's see now. It was blank, did you see? Now it is computing. Did you see the R? When it is processing, in R, the process is happening. So both groups are talking, communicating with each other. They're collaborating. This is so. <laughs> so gradually, the data is being processed and being shown. You see? Yeah. Okay. You see? You see here, we have the sentiment of people in both campus in San Francisco and in Boston about Hillary. And you see, blue means, uh, I want to show you the legend. Okay, yeah. Blue is negative, orange neutral, and green is positive. You see, Trump has less negative people thinking about him in comparison to Mrs. Clinton. So Mrs. Clinton has more people thinking negatively about her, right? Comparing with all. Okay. This is surprising, this is surprising maybe? Okay. I want to show also, I didn't perform this kind of presentation, this kind of chart. This is nice, but it's not the best way to analyze numbers. You see, it's the processing in R. So if there's a, a comment and it's like making fun of or in humor, sarcasm, does it come as a positive comment or a negative? Okay, that's a great question. That is not exactly a sentiment analysis, oh, okay. emotional okay. analysis. It's okay. a different kind of analysis that has more um, categories okay. like anger, happiness, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So in that case, uh, maybe next time I will present the emotional <laughs> analysis. This is the sentiment analysis. Okay. Okay. okay, now we have a clear picture, you see, about Trump. This is San Francisco and Paul. How much people are thinking was a very negative, negative, and now see about Hillary. This is Trump. Oh, no, oh excuse me, this is Hillary. Okay, now Trump now. It is clear that Trump has less people thinking negatively about him, right? You see the size of the bars? Yeah. and the other. Well, this is not San Francisco, this is not uh, Boston, this is the campuses, this is us, students, professors, you know? Mm -hmm. Zero point one miles around the middle of the campus means our buildings. Mm -hmm. There is a potential place to grow or to perform a campaign to attract more people and moving from this neutral, maybe to the positive, right? Not from maybe to the negative. We want to make a positive campaign. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. See you in Boston this week.